breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. They will regret. Hype up confirms a Baribay statement. Vow to deal with criminals and forcing sit at home order. They will regret. Hype up confirms a Baribay statement. Vow to deal with criminals and forcing sit at home order. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Daily Post on Thursday revealed that Hype Up confirmed the recent statement made by a notable Nigerian politician, Senator Abaribe. The report revealed that Abaribe in recent days visited the IPOB leader in Abuja to speak with him about matters of concern. Days after Senator Labaribe visited IPOB leader, the indigenous group IPOB confirmed on Thursday the statement made by Abaribe. After he met with their leader, Abaribe had claimed that he was told by Kanu that he, Kanu, has no hand in the sit at home order enforced in the southeast by members of IPOB. The politician, after making the statement, urged IPOB to stop issuing sit at home orders. But days after he made the statement, the indigenous group released a statement confirming the submission made by Abari Bay. Responding to the submission, Hypop spokesman, Ima Powerful said, Yes, it is true. It is a true statement from Senator Eyenaya Abari Bay because we stated it before now that our leader, Mazi Unamdekano, through his lawyers, asked IPOB members and leadership precisely the DOS to stop Monday sit at home order. Those enforcing non existent Monday sit at home order, killing and burning down properties belonging to Biafrans, will incur the wrath of IPOB very soon. But the public should know. Also, that the modest sit at home is still being observed despite statement that it is cancelled. Those enforcing this non existent Monday sit at home order will soon regret their actions because they are not IPOB members and don't know or understand what IPOB is capable of doing. They must regret what they are doing in our land. Their actions are detestable both to God and man. Such people have nothing in common with IPOB. This recent information and statement from Senator Labari Bay have vindicated our legal team and DOS who obtained the information from our lawyers who indicated how our leader Mazi Unamdekanu instructed us to stop Monday sit at home. The people in America and some parts of Europe issuing fake orders to blackmail IPOB and its operational leadership that the lawyers lied should be ready to embrace what is to come against them. It is better Everybody hears Senator Labaribe, but those claiming to be Unamdekano disciple and using it to change IPOP strategy will regret their actions. Again, it has come to the knowledge of the great family of IPOP that they are now peddling lies against IPOP and our leader, Mazi Unamdekano, that is sidetracked the people of Ebony State in the leadership of IPOP. 
Such tissue of lie does not merit any response, as doing so will amount to dignifying heat. The truth is that the entire Biafra land is fully represented in the leadership of IPOB. The gullible minds are following the gimmicks and antics these confusions are using to deceive them. Daily Post on Thursday revealed that IPOP confirmed the recent statement made by notable Nigerian politician Senator Abaribe. The report revealed that Abaribe in recent days visited the IPOP leader in Abuja to speak with him about matters of concern. Days after Senator Labaribe visited IPOB leader, the indigenous group HIPOB confirmed on Thursday the statement made by Abaribe after he met with their leader. Abaribe had claimed that he was told by Kano that he, Kano, had no hand in the sit at home order enforced in the southeast by members of IPOB. The politician, after making the statement, urged IPOP to stop issuing sit at home orders. But days after he made the statement, the indigenous people released a statement confirming the submission made by Abaribe. Responding to the submission, IPOP spokesman in Powerful said, Yes, it is true. It is a true statement from Senator Eyinaya Abaribe because we, start, we stated it before now that our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, through his lawyers, asked IPOP members and leadership precisely the DOS to stop Monday seat at home order. Those enforcing non existent Monday seat at home order, killing and burning down properties belonging to Biafrans will incur the wrath of IPO very soon. But the public should know also that the Monday seat at home is still being observed, despite statements that it is cancelled. Those enforcing this non-existent Monday seat at home order will soon regret their actions because they are not IPOB members and don't know or understand what IPOB is capable of doing. They must regret what they are doing in our land. To my dear listeners, finally, we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.